and back to the orb we are. So let's save, let's go back to the main menu. Where I go to my late game. And as you can see, it's already a lot of more stuff. <laughs> so I have a whole lot more uh, resources that I have to take care of. I have my spell slots with Empower, Smithery, they are all a few shenanigans. Um, you see some things like here, Firebolt, level dragon, level 2 dragon combat spell. Yes, I'm. there's an me aspect in there, but no, no, that's just. But physical damage, well, uh, you might think, wait, what? Damage? Yes. Yes. There are enemies to fight. But this is the combo I wanted to uh, go for. Um, let me cast this. Is this my blast wand? Yes, this is an artifact. Next spell you cast, plus 1000% non-augment power, plus 90% augment power, cooldown reduction. Um, non-augment spell power, mana gained. Let's let's remove this spell, this potion. Let's have this. So uh, you can see I have a whole lot of resources like energy, blaze, knowledge. I have eight thousand gained knowledge per second. Skill, control, ceremony, thermaturgy, souls, wood, wood. We get wood, amber, water, elementia. At some miscellaneous resources, I have a lot of paper. I won't deny that. So let me show you what I mean with this combo here. So let me drink those. Attune the orb. Then cast this amass power spell. And as you may know, this spell increases the effect of others for each half second it is active. This will be interesting to do. So let me just... Yeah, I think that is fine. Look at our energy. It has peaked. And I can just go with this. Get more and more and more. You can see a whole lot of other things to unlock. But let's get another amass spell going. And you can see this now here. I think that is fine for now. You can see it uses the energy here. But we are now entering absurd levels of resources. So... I could learn Storm Blasting. I specifically unlock, uh, got the wood for that. So we can learn new spells. And I have so many things to learn here. So why don't we get Dimensional Mastery? Get just everything. I have my workshop fully. I could get the Ritual Jumpstart. Let's do that. There are some things we are not meant to get yet, like this for 100 million, 1000 million, or 1 billion. Ceremony. Uh, but... This. Uh, no, first... Where is it? 
That was something I wanted to get. That needed... Ah, there. The Urnic. I need level 85 on notes. Notes are this. They are bought with paper. Artificer's scribble. So... Let's get this. Urnic paper. Scholar's book. And basically all book effects are increasing. And if we look at this... There are some books that... Give me resources, increase my capacities. So why don't we do that? Cognitive automatic. Why not? Soul powered clockwork table. My clockwork table gives me two mana per second and cooldown speed bonus. Yes, and then we got offensive items. I'll just get all of them. So much wood. I, I have much more things than I have actually need for. Um, do I have enough of this? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me get... A few thormic stones. There we go. And then learn this. But you can see the capacity for some things just gets silly. Oh, and by the way, the brainstorm is still working. Where we're gaining thermaturgy and everything else. So, why don't we... Learn a few things here. Just look at this. I can't use enough of that. Okay. So here I have my equipment. Blaze quality, so I can use one weapon at a time. Spirit blade, alright. Let's equip that. Oh, and we ran out of energy. So, the thing is... Yeah, ignore that, my blade levels up. The more you have them equipped, the faster the level up. Um, just let me... There we go. Now it levels up, and you can see the stats increase with each level up a little bit. Alright. So, next up... I have still a boatload of paper. I want to increase my alchemical command. Now we can get the next upgrade of that. Uh, sure, when we get that... Increase my Thermal Transmutation Mastery. So, basically, late game you transition from active to semi-idle game. And it is an interesting concept. And let's... Right, brewery. I want to try something new here because I completely forgot about this. I have different ba uh, elemental bases I can use for brewing. So, let's see what potion I get from this. I got an explosive elixir. Oh! Do not drop this. Interesting. So, there are some expansion elixir. 
What do you do? Oh, drastically increases spell duration and cost. So I could technically brew this at a high level and gain a massive effect, but it would also cost six minutes to brew. So let's not do that. Uh, let's learn the other ones. We have Aqua. We'll go through all, brew them once. Dragon Potion. I like that. Arcane. Nature. And Storm. Okay, transmutation oil. Infuse my cauldron. Nice maximum cauldron. All right, let's have a look at the, all the elixirs we just crafted. Oh, stabilization self for fighting increases my stability. It's basically my HP in a fight. We have flow mana quality. Oh, so that is that mana costs for stuff goes down. All right. Experience Elixir. Oh. Gain experience faster. Nice. Crafting Potion. Holy Jesus. All right. Transmutation Power and Speed. Okay. Um. All right. You know what? Let's get a Crafting Potion. On my current max level crafted. Takes five minutes. And will drain this dry. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, I need to transmute element here. Okay, um... Do I not have a normal spell layout? Oh. I think a normal version of this is more than fine. And... There we go. I need to get that up. Could transmute more space, but... Uh, cauldron... You know, let's get Purifier upgraded, let's get the Cauldron upgraded. I could level up my Alchemical Command, but no. Transmutation Speed. Get that. Okay, what am I missing now? I'm missing on control. Okay, loadout. Uh, sure, remove spell. You can see I have... A lot of stuff. Um, uh, no. I want this gone. Uh, conjure construct embolden. Cooldown speed, yeah. 
But I want transfigure. There we go. Uh, I could use heavy. And I think magnified. Scholar, no. Dilated, no. Okay, I think we'll just go with surged. So now... Now we just wait for this to kick up. to maximize could also <laughs> create the ultimate in a tune orb spell oh you know what no There we go. Channel this. All right. This will be fun. <laughs> you can can you see the amount of control I'm gaining? This is getting out of control. <laughs> yeah, you see my capacity is 500,000. I can generate more per second with that. So, uh, yeah, uh, wizardry. Alchemy? Yes, uh... Alright. Yeah, that should be enough. So... Oh my. Alright. I think I need to recast this. Okay. Oh, sorry to hear that author that your PC got busted. Yeah. Sucks, always sucks. Hey, just a few more seconds and this is done. Then we got our little 16 crafting potion. Oh my god. Wait, can I? Okay, this is an augment spell. All right, all right. Nice. Now, if I want to brew this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
loadout. Go on, cooldown. I want to see if I can use this. Condensed time. Yeah, I can. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. That's an interesting spell. Okay, uh, transmutation. I can transmute more element here. Or I can go just transmutation mastery. We'll have a look at one of the rituals in just a moment. Just... Oh. Probably have to take the Cloak of Flames when we go there. You know what, let's equip that for now. And then the Rhythm Rod. Oh god. Yeah, those we won't be getting. I mean, there is no way we can make those align. Yeah, we will get that. Look at that, minus 830. So now, that is now the interesting part. We have brewed those potions at that level once. Right? The thing is, if I now tell it to brew it at level 1, it just brews another level 16. So, I got a few explosives ones now. Let's get the crafting. I just want to craft goofy amounts of paper. I don't know why I like to craft uh, craft with paper. It's just satisfying to see the uh, big number go up. Okay, stop. Uh, workshop artifacts. I need to equip this though for one more time. Equip that one. Ah, I don't need energy. So, you can see our crafting power here, how much we craft is shown there. Let's equip those two. And go to this spell tab here. Um, you know what? Can I actually upgrade those? 
I can. How much mana? I have 8.7 million mana. Uh, workshop. Artif artifacts? I need this cloak. We should see this jump up. Oh, there we go. 15 million. Oh boy. So each one of those needs 1.6 million to cast. Oh, shit. So one, two, three, four, five, six times 1.6. So we should be able to do that right now. Ah, it's level 10 already. All right. Okay. <laughs> Who's ready to craft a bunch of paper? <laughs> we are at 9.9 .9 million right now. So... What's the number on the top right? And craft a bunch of paper. 338 million. And we ran out of wood. Uh. It's just... Look at our resources. <laughs> 200,000 wood. It's, it's insane. So yeah, let's, let's end it. 630. And that is our base crafting. So I essentially more than 300 fold increased my crafting power here <laughs> so yeah late game those numbers just go nuts i wish you could sort those though to meet your specific ends but yeah this is the late game of the orb of creation casting and org super augmenting your spells into absurdity um we can discover a few more spells i think yeah we can't do that but we we can discover this spell lightning spear and shock storm ah those use energy to cast. All right. So, uh, okay. Don't like to use them right now, so we won't be using those in combat. But yeah, my world, you can see I got rituals and everything. My urns are upgrade beyond, and there is the pocket dimension to jump. Basically, you just go from upgrade to upgrade to find the next big jump there my spells already are going back on cooldown oh, there we go so I have a few magic spells here they are they're with efficient so they use less mana um, conjure blaze
Let's upgrade this once. Beam burst. Or supernova. No, 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 let's keep those. There we go. All right, but I promised I show you something in here. Uh, can I? No, I cannot, but I can learn more constitution. So that is something. Increase my stability, get this discipline up. All right, so those are rituals we can quote-unquote cast and you can see per level reached gain ceremony that is the level we advance in the fighting and some even have special effects like harmony an active effect per level we have more base stability cast uh, capacity or gravity increases our total space and space we gain per minute uh, per second and with the life stone, not life stone, the ritual jump start, we can now start at higher level. Um, let me swap those potions though. I want a power potion. And do I want something else? Yeah, fury. Those two. So let's start a ritual. Let's get fighting. I had the I have the wrong stuff. So yeah. Ah, damn it. All right. And there we died. But we gained ritual experience, ectoplasm, wizard, wood, and spatial uh, d spectral dust, but also increased my space per second. So yeah. And technically, from here on, I can go even deeper. So let me increase my fire. And let's go. Basically, for every level that I now beat, I can increase my... I want to destroy this one first. There we go. There we go. Uh, I think, oh, we made it, we made it. But this will now kill us. Nice. Um, we could start at this low level as well. Mm, but uh, let me, there we go. Get me my blaze of my cloak of flames spell power yeah let's keep that augment spell spell cost cooldown casting speed uh, let's keep that and let's equip the rhythm broad so you can see we get a little bit of spell stuff all right there we go Let's go back to rituals and let's activate the fundamentals.
so far kind of easy uh you know what this. Always kill the heavies. Nice. No, we will die. But yeah. There is also this aspect of fighting in the game, and mind you, this is all early access. So the game is sure to expand even more. You can see there's even space for two more spaces. And I'm, I think this is one of the better made idle games. Oh, there we go. There is currently available so yeah hope you all enjoyed our look at orb of creation and i can see you in the future thanks for being here see you then bye bye a big thank you to all my wyvern tier and higher supporters over at patreon mini Mergle, peter fine and exonus as well as a thank you to all the other patrons and people who support me in different ways as well as my subs on twitch you all keep this going. Thank you. Thank you very much.